Okay, this is part two of my Dream WrestleMania card. Um, I'm doing this hopefully to uplift the spirits of the YWC who are obviously suffering at the moment of news concerning WWE continuing to be uh, pursue this PG bullshit era and also um, the uh, terrible card that is at WrestleMania 29. So hopefully this will just lift your spirits thinking of better days and also um, what could have been. Um, so uh, next on my uh, Dream WrestleMania card is a Tag Team Championship match. And this one will be the Giants versus the Big Men. And what a match this would be. I hope this is a short match, but... Um, uh, uh, an effective one, and it would be Yokozuna and Mark Henry versus The Big Show and Andre the Giant. Um, now, this would be a sick one. I'd have um, Andre the Giant and The Big Show um, possibly, uh, well, I'd have them as the tag team champions. I think they'd be the heel tag team champions in this situation um, with uh, Mark Henry and Yokozuna recently turning face. Um, now, uh, there might have to be a swerve or reversal in this one where um, something happens in which, um, you know, uh, Mark Henry and Yokozuna use some kind of really cheap tactic that uh, will turn the crowd even against them. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it would have to go to Mark Henry and Yokozuna, that one. Um, that's not even a difficult one for me. It's easy. Even though Andre the Giant, what a legend, but definitely Yoko and uh, Mark Henry for me on that one. Um, next up would be uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Ric Flair. Um, now, uh, I, I would have Dolph Ziggler probably as the heel, just because why not? Um, it could even be two heels, I, I'm not even sure. But uh, I'm just going to make this very quick and sweet. Ric Flair wins this. I mean, <laughs> there's no way. I mean, like, Ric Flair's going to win whatever way. Like, whether he che like, he's definitely cheating. He's definitely doing the figure four leg lock. He's definitely slapping Dolph Ziggler around the ring. And I would take great pleasure in seeing that. And that's it. It's that simple. Ric Flair wins done. Okay, next on my card, um, <clears throat> it would be the Ultimate Warrior versus Goldberg. 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 Wow. Now, this would have some crazy promos leading up to it. I have to say, sorry, just to um, say that uh, definitely on, um, on commentary would have to be Good, uh, for this match would have to be good old JR. I think um, JR would have to be brought out at this point in the proceedings, at this specific point. Good old JR and Bobby Heenan would be brought out um, to, uh, <clears throat> to commentate on this match. Now, um, how would this one go? It's like the immovable object... Um, uh, versus the un irresistible force or unstoppable force. Wow, I don't know. I, you know, this uh, would be a mad match. Um, it wouldn't necessarily be about wrestling. I think Goldberg would have to hold this match together, if anything. Um, but it would be just about the experience and the storytelling, um, both of what these guys are probably best at. Although Ultimate Warrior sometimes is lacking even in the storytelling area. So, um, I'd make this a short and sweet match. But, God, this is a difficult one to choose who I'd want to win out of Goldberg and the Ultimate Warrior. I think two of the most underrated best of all timers. Um, God damn. I'd have to give it to Goldberg. I think I'd have to give it to Goldberg. Um, it's a really difficult choice for me, but like, just purely on... This isn't even on favouritism. I just have to give it to Goldberg to keep the streak. Um, and Ultimate Warrior bowing out gracefully. But like, 
you'd have to have him, you know, like searching for the power of the Warriors to overtake Goldberg and Goldberg kicking out of the press slam. Um, and, you know, like it really, really being close to the edge, but Goldberg just, just about taking it. Maybe even just with a roll up rather than, you know, I'd have um, the Ultimate Warrior kick out of, uh, you know, uh, Goldberg's finisher. And um, Goldberg ends up winning with a roll up. Um, next one. Uh, great match. Um, this would be a Hell in the Cell match, and it would be Mankind, Nick Foley versus Shane McMahon. Uh, now, this would be awesome. <laughs> this would be an awesome match. Shane McMahon, one of the most underrated hardcore um, uh, aficionados of all time. Um, so it would be a hardcore Hell in the Cell. There would already be chairs thumbtack things, all of that is in the cell already um, and, uh, you know, waiting to be used. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> uh, as I said, love Mankind, love Shane McMahon. I think they could make a great, great story out of this. Off the top of my head, can't really think of what that story would be. Um, maybe Shane McMahon and the corporation have somehow betrayed um, uh, Mankind. And uh, this is Mankind has somehow got the ability to get his revenge on Shane McMahon. Um, we'd have Team Corporate um, surrounding the ring. Um, literally, uh, it would be, it, it, it would seem almost impossible for, um, for Mankind to win. Um, Shane McMahon doing all kinds of mad moves. Um, the corporation somehow like taken out by some of mankind's friends by the end of the match um, so that uh, it's only mankind and um, Shane McMahon left um, then uh, I suppose um, they'd have to do one dangerous move uh, from the top of the ring or, so, or from the top of the uh, cell um, uh, or maybe a double a dangerous match and a dangerous move from the top. Um, maybe they both are punching each other and then they both fly through a table and it just um, so happens that they fly off the table in a way that um, Shane McMahon is pinning, oh sorry, fly off the cage in a way that Shane McMahon happens to just have his hand over mankind and it ends up with Shane McMahon with the victory. So double drop off the cage into a table but Shane McMahon just lands with his hands on he doesn't even know where he is they're both knocked out and uh, that's how the match ends um, 